So when we go to look for traditional ways that we look for um, oil, are we look for the traps. So here's a big salt dome. All right, salt is, very, is, is not very dense. And so when you put a lot of weight on top of it, it tends to try to rise up. And it'll rise up through uh, rock layers uh, towards the surface. Now, um, oil, particularly oil and gas, will get trapped against the sides of this and uh, not be able to flow away. And this is how you uh, would look for oil um, traditionally, is you would look for traps and then drill down. Um, and here is uh, an oil well here going into one of these trapped areas um, to pull the oil out. Now, when you drill into the rock, you're not actually finding a pool of oil that's in a little space down there, right? You're actually finding oil that is in the pores of the rock. So if you have a, a nice porous rock like this, now this time I'm going to pass it around. Um, if you have uh, oil, it's in the pores of this rock. Okay, it's not in some little cavern or space under the ground. Uh, you you drill down into this, and you start pull. It's like it's like uh, if you have a drink with ice in it, right? You put the straw in, and you um, you make suction in the straw, and it pulls the liquid out. And when you're done, you have a lot of ice with a lot of spaces in between the ice cubes, right? So that's basically what they're doing is they're pulling the liquid out. So you uh, in the way that most oil um, rigs work is they pull the oil from the surrounding area and then they turn off the machine. All right? That allows the oil that's surrounding to flow into the open spaces. Then after a certain amount of time, they, they calculate how long it would take to fill those open spaces. And then they turn the um, oil rig on again, and it sucks up all the oil within that certain area. Turn it off. So if you've ever been near an oil rig, some of you have been to Montana, um, the, you'll notice that they turn on and off during the day. They're not continuously pumping. And that's because you have to wait for all the oil to flow back into these pores. So it's pulling oil from all over. It's pulling oil from here and from here, uh, but it's only taking the oil that's right here. And it waits for it to flow back in, take more out. So um, this is what we normally use. It's called, um, it's, it's a source rock, OK? Um, and this is sediment, so it's a little bit different. But basically, it's. It's got all the pore space in it. So I'm going to pass that around so you can take a look at it. So that's what, how we traditionally get oil gas out of rock. Is it's in a porous material to begin with. We're just pulling it out of that.